everybody, it's Dash Bella, and I'm here with General today. Welcome back to Star Equestrian. So, as you can tell by today's thumbnail and title, we are finally VIPs. And yes, I did make this promise. I actually think I made this promise like at the beginning of the year, my first video for 2024, that I was going to get VIP in March. Here we go. I've kept my promise. I am actually super excited for this too, because now that we're VIP, there's going to be some extra content that I'm going to be able to show you guys. And for anyone that is kind of wondering, like, what's this VIP thing? And if you don't play Star Equestrian, I am not sponsored. Okay, that's not what VIP is. VIP is basically the one-time paid membership for Star Equestrian and you get a whole bunch of bonuses including certain VIP quests, you get a gem reward every day which is 50 gems a day. If you claim every day for an entire week that's an extra 350 gems that you can get weekly. There's also early access to the new Bronco area, which is the desert area at the bottom left hand corner of the screen. There's also some extra bonuses as well, but I feel like it's not really going to be something that I would say is super pay to win. Like, OK, if anyone asks me right now, is Star Equestrian pay to win? I would say in certain regards, but VIP probably isn't one of them yet. And I say yet because the thing I'm a little bit worried about is going to be the VIP only summons. Like if this is permanently only going to be a VIP only thing, then yeah, it, we might be leaning towards VIP. But I guess the good news of me subscribing to VIP now is that I'll be able to show you guys all of the new content. And if you're still deciding on whether VIP is something that you kind of want to look at, hopefully I can help you decide, like, is it going to be worth it for you? Because I know VIP, honestly, guys, VIP isn't for everybody. If you don't play Star Equestrian every day or if you don't log online to actually collect the gems every day, you kind of lose value for being VIP. And I'd rather suggest you be a free to play player. Um, if anything, that's how I think about it right now, right? Like, if you don't play a lot of Star Equestrian, don't subscribe to VIP. You can always get it at a later date. Like, you're li not, you're literally not missing out on anything right now, aside from just, like, one small quest. Well, I guess you also got some, like, VIP exclusive clothes. Uh, hang on, where is this? Okay, so this is the jacket. It kind of looks cool, but again, guys, like... This is technically a $50 jacket. I mean, it's okay. I can't even change the colors. So there was a jacket. I think there's some pants too. Are these the pants? I don't even know. Yeah, I don't even know, guys. So there's pants and I think there were boots as well. Here we go. So these are the VIP boots. But personally, I prefer the club boots. <laughs> kind of like them a little bit more. So yeah, there's like some VIP stuff. If you don't get VIP, guys, it's seriously totally okay. If your parents can't afford it or for like whatever reason, don't go broke trying to play Star Equestrian. It's just a game. All right, so what we're going to do today, I'm going to just give some acceleration feed to General because his acceleration is kind of terrible right now and I want him to, to kind of speed up. Oh, wait, I forgot I haven't leveled General. Oh, it's been such a long time. Okay, maybe we'll just sort of deal with it. Um, but for today, I think we're going to look at some of the VIP stuff because that is definitely something that I wanted to do. So firstly, I want to unlock Bronco. I haven't done this yet. I've never been in Bronco on this account. I think I've been on my other account, but I honestly, I've just forgotten what Bronco looks like. It's kind of not important. There's no quests there right now. There is actually nothing. It's just... You get to go there a little sooner um, and I guess you can collect chests earlier but the chests you get like the gems from the chests are kind of negligible. So again guys like don't don't think that you're missing out on a lot of stuff just because you're not VIP. Okay here we are we're gonna be heading into Bronco oh my gosh I'm kind of excited I just want to explore again and to see how everything's gonna look. But yeah, it's basically a desert. There's all sand everywhere. There's cacti. It's just a really cool area to be in, in my opinion. And there's also a town as well. And it really just gives me Red Dead Redemption 2 vibes. Oh my gosh, I love this area. I really can't wait for the devs to start adding the quest line to this place. Like, what's this place going to be? I'm also really excited to see like what the courses for competitions are going to be like as well because all these new areas 
they all come with their own tracks, their own show jumping courses, cross country. I know a lot of people have been asking for barrel racing, like to have a new discipline in, and I really like that as well just because I want something new to do in Star Equestrian. Like obviously show jumping and cross country, I, I really would not mind having more of those because those are always going to be great, but it would be really cool just to have a different discipline for one so that we have some more options. I know we're gonna be getting racing soon, but like that's its own different thing. So here we go, we're in the town of Bronco and yeah, it's basically a ghost town right now because this, this place is not even done. Like they even got grass still inside the little chicken pen. And yeah, it's really just dead. I don't even know if there's any people here, but it does look cool. Like it really does remind me of Red Dead Redemption 2 when you visit one of the towns in the desert. Oh my gosh, that must be the main building as well. There's a statue here too. Most importantly, I want to unlock this teleport point. Or is this for ranchers? Oh, it's for ranchers. Okay, wait, where's the teleport point for this area? We have to look for the bell. We are... Oh, we actually went the wrong way. Okay, so we need to head over this way. All right, so here's the fast travel. We're going to be able to go to Bronco whenever we want. At some point, I'm going to have to try and find all the chests here too. Because, um, yeah, it'd be very nice to get those extra gems every week. And are there... There's no new veggies. I think this is wheat. So this looks like wheat and there's a cow. So I'm guessing there's milk. Yes, there's milk as well. All right. So the town does look really cool. Like I can't wait till they populate this place with people, with NPCs to talk to. Should we visit the saloon? Hold on. I want to go inside the saloon. You just hang out here, buddy. All right. The saloon. Oh my gosh. The door won't even open. Okay. Can I not go in here or is there a separate door? Hold on guys uh everything's like blocked off okay i guess we can't go in there yet or can i go in like up the top here hello okay the double doors are open so i can go in but i can't go in through the first floor that is pretty interesting there's a black bar i don't see any fancy stuff here oh gosh this place is like so dark i can't see uh is this meant to be here like okay this is just completely blocked all right so <laughs> the building looks cool it'd be kind of cool if there were players here because it would all just like sit in the chair someone can be behind the saloon but the buildings already look really cool like they look like they could almost be ready i'm just surprised that the double doors are opened on the second floor and not the ground floor so is everything just a saloon it actually looks like everything is labeled saloon. Okay, no, that's the saloon. So that must be a bar. This is the bank. We can't go in the building, so we're not going to bother checking them out. This statue is here. Does this read like the other one? There's another one back in Heartside. Oh, wait, what is this? I... Okay, I thought I could click on something, but apparently not. All right. What is in here? Looks like nothing. It is empty which is to be expected again because the building isn't ready we can go up to this floor is there a chest up here maybe it would be nice if there was a chest no chests are you really i i like made all this way up here for no chests okay kind of sad i'm gonna try and call my horse here okay so i guess there's not really much to check out for Bronco, although there is one building I want to look at here, and it's going to be that giant arena, which is right here. Oh, so this is basically going to be the same thing as the arena that we see in Agricola, but this is like the Bronco version. Oh, it looks so cool too. Like I know the arena isn't as big. It's way more narrow, but oh my gosh, I can imagine this if we start having to do things like barrel racing in here. Oh, this place looks so cool, guys. It looks so cool. And this is such a nice place for people if they want to do any kind of like RP action as well. Like the arena is just so big. There's a farm out here. And there's just a little paddock out here as well. Yeah, this place is so cool. Like, this is a really awesome place if you want to do some RPing stuff. And there's also, like, these giant plateaus in the distance. Is that a house up there? 
No, there's no way that that's a house. Okay, so this is pretty cool so far to see Bronco. Now, what else are we going to be able to do today? I actually think we should start doing the fall quest line. So the fall quest line is a special quest just for VIP players. And I think I've, I do want to do this, or at least I want to start on this today so that we can start on this quest line. Again, very excited. I don't even remember what this quest line was last time. So yeah. You are about to start a VIP only quest. It is suggested that you are at least level 10 for this quest. Do you want to continue? Yes, of course we do. Would you like an opportunity to work for the best breeder in all of Evervale? Well, you're in luck. I need a temporary farmhand to help me out. Come by my ranch if you think you have what it takes. Athena. Ooh, it's a job listing. Hmm, farmhand for a world famous breeder. I could do that. Maybe she'd teach me how to breed horses too. Oh, it's a foal! Hello! It's the same one from the picture. Oh, hello there! You're a sweet little thing, aren't you? Are you lost? I wonder if you belong to the person who wrote the post on the notice board. <gasps> it's running away! No! Oh, hang on! Wait for me! Okay, we're gonna chase down this cute little itty bitty fall. Oh, we're already riding. And it even has the VIP marker above its head as well. It's got such weird feet. Oh my gosh, they are like spread out. Up. It's like it's doing the splits while it's running. Oh my gosh, this tiny little fall. I wish we could have fall pets. I would love it if we could ride around with foals. I think at some point someone said like breeding might be added because horse riding tails, like a lot of the horse riding tail stuff has been added to Star Equestrian. I would love it if we could ride with any of the foals that we actually managed to breed with our horses. But again, it's like not confirmed. So yeah, something to think about, but it is super cool. Oh, you are so adorable. It's a little tiny baby. Gotcha, you little rascal. Oh, I reckon that's your home right there. Your owner must be worried sick. Let's get you back right away. It's a little fall. I'll give you a tasty carrot if you follow me. Oh, yes, managed to convince this little fall to chase us. How fast are you? Can you keep up with Sumi? Oh my goodness, this thing is super fast. Okay, hold on. I want to run around with this fall for a smidge. Oh my gosh, you are so fast. If I change horse, sorry guys, I just want to test something. If I change to Emperor, hold on, who's faster? I actually think Moonlight's faster, but I'll change to Emperor because Emperor's pretty speedy as well. Can this fall keep up with Emperor? Oh my gosh, look at this speedy little fall. Oh, you're so cute. I can't run, I can't run straight, but look at this fall. It is so fast. Look at this little guy with all the zoomies. Oh, I can't even keep up with the camera. Oh gosh, we are so fast. Okay, we're going to bring you home, little guy, back to where you belong. Okay, here we go. There's the owner. Reggie, you little troublemaker. That's the third time this week. Should have called him Loki instead. That dang fence must be broken again. Well, you're in luck. I actually came about the job advertisement, and I just happened to run into Reggie on the way. I can help you fix that fence if you'd like. I may have fixed a fence or two in my time. Let's take a look at you. Oh dear, is this really the best I can find? Fine, I suppose you'll do. Gee, thanks. Listen, I don't just accept help from anyone. I'm the most famous breeder in all of Evervale. People come from miles away just to catch a glimpse of my foals. But I don't see anyone else here. That's because I only breed the most exceptional horses. Unfortunately, they are too expensive for most people these days, but I refuse to lower myself and offer subpar horses for a cheap buck like some. It's the best or nothing. You must be losing a lot of money then. Do you have a plan? Of course I do. Athena always has a plan. I'm saving up to take a course and become a real estate agent instead. And you better believe I'll be the best at that too. Won't you miss working with horses? 
Miss working with horses? I dare say they would miss working with me. I'd rather turn this old ranch into a foal sanctuary. Care for lost or injured foals and teach people about them. But that would cost an arm and a leg. That sounds amazing, Athena. I would definitely come and visit. You and everybody else. Anyways, let's put you to work, eh? You can start by going to see Farmer John to see if he'll lend me some posts to fix the fence. Okay, so we've got to fix up this fence for Athena, but I have to say, this woman does have a bit of an attitude. Here we are. Howdy, stranger. What can I do for you? Your neighbor, Athena, has broken a fence and her foals keep escaping. Can I borrow some fence posts to fix it up? Borrow? Ha! Huh, you can have as many as you can carry. I've got fence posts coming out of the wazoo. Mind you, it occurs to me that this might be a good opportunity for old Farmer John. What do you mean? Well, I'd like to commission Athena to breed me a horse, actually. You see, my body's getting old. I'm not cut out for farming anymore. I want a nice, fast horse that I can win the Star Championship on. Then I can retire and live off the winnings. Oh gosh, pretty interesting. Um, if your body's getting too old for farming, how will you ride a racehorse? Giddy up and cling on for dear life. <laughs> this man's a little bit crazy, guys. Mm, all right then, I trust you. Now, you can pick the parents. I don't mind about that. Just as long as it's fast, fast, fast. You got it. Okay, pretty interesting. We've got to go pick up these fence posts. So where are they exactly? Oh, they're right here. Select. There we go. So old farmer John wants a racehorse. I mean, he literally just said he's too old, but like... I mean, if that's what he wants, that's what he wants, right? Okay, so let's fix this fence. We're going to press repair. There, that should do it. Sorry, Reggie, no more wandering into town for you. This poor little foal. I'm sorry, Reggie. It's for your own good, okay? You gotta grow up big and strong. I fixed the fence and I've got some great news. Farmer John wants you to breed a horse for him. Finally, someone with taste. What kind of horse does he want? He wants one that can whisk him to the finish line in the Star Championship. He thinks a horse can do that alone? That's the funniest thing I've heard all year. But yeah, sure, I'll gladly take his money. I can't wait to see you work your magic, Athena. You wish, but I'm not convinced you've got what it takes to be my assistant. Um, didn't I just fix your fence? Anyone can fix a fence. It takes someone special to breed a horse. Come on, Athena. I'm really interested in breeding. As an act of charity, I'll let you help me this one time. Go and select a mare and a stallion from the yard and send them to the barn. I take it you don't know the difference. So the mares are on the right side and the stallions are on the left. Okay, mares are on the right, stallions are on the left. Okay, we have three options for stallions. So we have this very cute bay stallion. A black stallion with a white mane and tail, and then we have this palomino y kind of stallion here. Mm, I mean, I've always leaned towards having a black horse if you're just gonna give me basic coats, and this guy also has flaxen. So I think we go with the black stallion. You think the stallion should be chosen? Well, I mean, why not, guys? Now that is a curious choice. What do you mean, curious? I don't even know, like, who these horses are. Okay, so we've got a black stallion, and we are going to have a choice to pick a mare. Oh my gosh, I already know someone that I'm going to pick, and it has to be that liver chestnut over there, that flaxen liver chestnut. This is a very cute black mare with a white mane and tail. It looks just like the stallion, and we have this, like, plain chocolate chestnut, but yeah, it's got to be this one here. You think the foal should have this mare? Hmm, interesting. I don't know guys, I don't know what this is gonna look like. Hmm, not too bad. You might just make a horse breeder out of you yet. You should head back to Farmer John and let him know that this <clears throat> star championship winning racehorse is on the way. I hope he's still as enthusiastic in a few months. A few months? You forget normal rules don't apply in Evervale. 
and when you're as talented as I am, let's just say I have a few trade secrets up my sleeve. Does that mean we get to see this fall faster? Oh gosh. All right, we've done our first quest and we got 50 gems as well, 500 coins. But oh my gosh, guys, we've got our first fall. I think we're gonna keep going. Hi, I just came by to let you know that your racehorse is on the way. Why, that's fantastic news. Thank you. Say, I found some very interesting information. I wonder if you could look into it for me. Absolutely. What did you hear? Well, I heard there's a plant that's only found down in Bronco. Some rare prickly pear cactus or something. Supposedly, it feeds off the underground spring water, which gives it special properties. What kind of special properties? Apparently, if this cactus is mixed in with growing foal's feed, the foal will inherit lightning fast properties. I'm talking fast enough for me to win the star championship. That's awesome! Now that you mention it, I heard about another rare fruit that can make a foal fully grown in just a few days. They must be filled with the same spring water. What? That's ridiculous. This cactus is the real deal. Believe me. Alright, I'll go and check it out for you. Do you know where it grows? That's a great question. And one I don't have the answer to. But figuring that out is half the fun, right? I've marked an area where you can start looking. Ah, uh, okay, thanks, Farmer John. So, of course, we're gonna have to do the hard work to find out where this prickly cactus is. And supposedly, it's up here. Okay, so, let's teleport to Bronco. And let's follow that path as well, because I have a feeling I roughly know where we can possibly go. Also, guys, ignore the line here. Like, we're kind of bugged. For some reason, Emperor's not going to be able to regenerate stamina anymore, which is kind of strange. Okay, so how do we get up here? So, according to the map, we're here. If we follow the tracks and we go to the right path, we can actually go to the bridge. And near the bridge is where we can go up. Okay, we need to go up and follow this spiral thing. And then I have to find, here we go, the bridge. Follow the bridge. And then the cactus should be somewhere around here. Where's this prickly cactus? Quest object nearby. Here we go. It's a, oh my gosh, it's purple. Oh, it's a purple cactus. Oh, that's so strange. Gotcha, you little prickly. Gee, that wind sure is picking up. There's dust swirling everywhere. Ring, 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 ring. Hi, Athena. What's going on? Have you felt the desert wind in Br- No time for small talk. The fall is about to be born. That's awesome news. But there's a complication. It's coming out backwards. I need you to find the vet, Vanessa, now. You got it. Do you know where she is? I... I'm not sure. I've been calling around. Calling everywhere. Really. Joy said she'd gone far southwest of town to check on some cows, but... Athena! Take a deep breath. If she's checking on cows south of Heartside, then that must be out by Bronco. I'm already here. I'll find her and bring her back to the ranch. Good. Be back now! Okay, we need to go find Vanessa. I'm just going to run down this cliff to do so. And hopefully we're going to get to this fast enough to save this fall. Because a fall going out backwards in real life is really dangerous. Vanessa, hi! I'm going to cut right to the chase. Athena's fall is being born right now, but it's coming out backwards. You've got to help us. Oh, Dashabella, I didn't expect to see you today. Yes, of course. We better hurry. Okay, jump on and I'll get us there before you can say, Dust storm! Why would you say that? No, look, a dust storm! We have to go now! Uh-oh. I know this area pretty well. I reckon we'll be saved if you make it to the wooden bridge out of Bronco. Oh my gosh, I still have this bug. I can't jump! Okay, I think we can still do this, but oh my gosh, this is such a weird bug, guys. We have to escape the dust storm. Let's keep following the marker. I think we should be totally fine. Go, Emperor, go! Do not run out of stamina, my boy. Do not let me down. We've got to save this fall. We're almost there. This dust storm is not going to get us. Oh my gosh, that dust storm looks super scary. Yeet! 
<laughs> Vanessa did not like that, oh my gosh. How is it? Is it breathing? Will it be okay? Don't worry, Athena. The fall is going to be just fine. Now, can you please stand back a little bit? I've got some work to do. What? Oh, yes, of course. She's smiling, but Farmer John's like, oh. Oh, goodness. And then we are. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is a little bit awkward. Well, I'll be. That was a real thing of beauty. Don't you think, Dashabella? Beauty, I don't. I mean, that's one word to describe it. <laughs> How else would you describe it? You know what? Now that I think about it, I guess it was beautiful. I knew you'd think so. It'd be, I'd be honored if you gave my new fall a name. Oh, really? What if I named it something like refrigerator or moon unit? I'm confident you're not going to do that, right? Right. Um, okay, I think we're going to be nice. Let's, let's pick a serious name. Like, I mean, we could call it moon unit, but no, we better not. We, oh, we actually get to name the fall. Okay, so we have some pretty interesting names, but I don't know what I'm going to call it. I kind of want something that's also like super funny. Pi, Tessa, Niske, Cool, Patriot, Ollie, Cheddar. I mean, Cheddar's, Cheddar's cute, right? Right? Okay guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you're enjoying the Star Equestrian series, do leave a like on this video just so I know that you guys want more Star Equestrian stuff. It's been really exciting to explore all of this VIP content with you guys because I know some of you have been asking for VIP stuff for such a long time and it's been like it kind of sucked that I wasn't able to give you that content up until this month. I did say at the beginning of this year, I think it was like my New Year's video, that I didn't have the money during um, January and even February to actually buy VIP. So I'm so glad that I finally do have this money to be able to actually get VIP and to share this stuff with you. And I also want to remind you guys, please don't feel pressured to buy VIP. If you can't afford it or if you don't think it's worth it, you don't have to get VIP. I actually think you can enjoy Star Equestrian as a completely free player. VIP is just bonus stuff and it's just for people like if you play so much Star Equestrian and you really just enjoy the game and you don't play anything else, then that would be probably the only time that I would ever recommend buying VIP. I bought it because I actually enjoy Star Equestrian. Uh, maybe not enough to like super wail on this game, but I play this game so much. So I thought like the benefits were kind of good for me as well. Um, and also in case anyone is wondering, like the pay to win for this, it's really not that pay to win. I do think there are some aspects of VIP that make it a little bit better if you're trying to progress through the game. But aside like some of the small things, it's really not that big of a deal. Like again, you can do a lot of stuff as a free to play player that a VIP also can do. Like VIP doesn't actually feel that special. So yeah, if you can't get VIP or if you don't want to get it, that is totally fine. Okay, it is totally okay. And I know someone is going to ask this, when are we going to get a Pegasus? So firstly, I want to say thank you to everybody that helped me reach 100 likes in my past video. I didn't actually think we were going to get that many likes, but you all somehow pulled through. So thank you so much for that. I'm actually going to be doing our Pegasus pull very likely in our next Star Equestrian video. So do look forward to that one. It's it's going to be a very expensive video, so I hope you enjoy it. I hope it's worth it. I am actually a little bit scared, but a promise is a promise, and I did make that promise to you guys, so I will deliver on that when I can. And if you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Dashabella. I'm a virtual equestrian VTuber and I love playing horse games. I try to showcase as many of the ones that I do like playing on my channel. So if that's something that tickles your fancy, do consider subscribing just so you can get future notifications for all of my future uploads. 
that's gonna be it for today. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone!